Hey everybody, it's Amira. How are you? I just sat down to do um, a little project and I thought I'd turn on the camera just to show you what I'm doing. Um, so I'm making some bottle cap charms. Um, I love how these turned out. So I'm just making a little gift for a friend of mine. And um, I thought I would just do a quick share and perhaps maybe a quick DIY on how I made these. Um, so, um, they turned out really, really cute. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I, um, at our local, I'm here in Perth, Australia, and at our local, um, you know, grocery store, there is a section where you can brew, a home brew section, and you can buy, this is a hundred, um, bottle caps, right? So just like this. Alrighty, so they come normal, and this is the back um, with the brand. Now I don't I don't drink beer for religious reasons, so I've never really um, I didn't discover this until I realized I needed these for um, <laughs> for art. Um, and so they come like this originally, and then I will show you now how you can flatten them yourself to look like that. So from that. To that you can flatten them yourself um, so that you can then add whatever image you want to so all you'll need is your big shot and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna do that alrighty so we're back with the big shot and I hope um, I can get everything on on screen here for you so you've got your normal extended platform with a one tab and a two tab now for this all you'll need to do is actually open up both tabs one, two, and this is the setting. Um, this is the setting I use for the embossing folder, um, and then you will need your two cutting plates. Okay, so let's do it on this side so you can see what I'm doing. Alrighty, so alrighty, so open up both tabs, put one cutting plate down, um, put your uh, bottle cap with the flat end down and you can do two at the same time if you like um, and then um, put the top plate on and then all you need to do is very carefully just push this through and you'll feel the pressure of it going through and, um, and there you go so from once again from so that's the back and then once again it makes this beautiful um, really really beautiful uh, rim I guess alrighty now let me show you what happens um, because I like to show I like to do things the wrong way to show you what not to do if you don't open those tabs and you have too much pressure you could break your machine or you could flatten and squish this down. So you know you want this rim so that you can add <clears throat> you can add your image. And then this is a completely flat ruined piece, right? And I'm really lucky that this didn't break my machine. Um, I just wanted to see what happens, and that's what happens. Alrighty. So after you've gone ahead and flattened down your um, or slightly pressed your bottle caps, what you're going to do is. I've played around with some of the circle measurements and you know it, it's just amazing that it perfectly fits the one inch circle punch and so this is what I've done here a one inch circle punch and I've just used normal PVA glue and I've glued it down then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and have a look at any images that you want to either square cut or like this so square cut little images or you could actually just use your one inch circle punch and circle you know um, align that right in the center and then circle punch that and you can just put that image straight on to the bottle cap now I find that the best images that you will find will be those in a six by six pad because the um, images are already shrunken down to a perfect size for you uh, you could go along and, you know, just cut off the heads of <laughs> whatever images you want um, or whatever uh, uh, image you need or 
you know, like this is what I did here um, for the gorgeous one. Um, I just found a little image online and I downloaded it and then I just, um, you know, punched it out with that circle. So after you have done that, so after you found your image and you've circle punched it, all you need to do is, you know, you could always um, put a, a sentiment that's always good. So I've got these that I've typed out on my computer and then printed it out and I just use them as I need to. So I've glued them down. So the next thing you need to do is you need to seal your image from one edge to the other, okay? Um, and that's a really important step because I'll show you why in a second. So uh, image, sentiment, seal it. Next thing you need to do is you need to put a dimensional product on. Um, you can use glossy accents, that works wonderful. And you can use Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, that looks beautiful. Let me show you just here, I'll bring it into, you can probably see it. it this is still really wet and you can see, oh dear disturb it. You can see that it's really cloudy um, and so this means that it's still wet. Once it's dry it goes clear like this and it's beautiful and it's shiny and um, it just looks amazing. This is what happens when you don't seal. So if all you do was you add your circle punch glue it down, and then you added the Mod Podge Dimensional, this is what happens. It starts peeling off, because you didn't, you didn't seal it from edge to edge. It starts peeling off, and you know, it'll start cracking, and this is what not, this is what happens when you don't seal with Mod Podge, or put any sealer before you add the Dimensional Magic. Okay, so, um, so yes, this is, um, this is my project, quick project that I wanted to share with you. Um, go ahead and, um, you know, check out your homebrew section in the grocery store and grab some of these. I think that bag was like five dollars for a hundred. I know on eBay you can get like five for five dollars the proper bottle cap ones. Um, I, I, um, I don't. You know, I don't think that I need to buy them now that I know how I make how to make them myself. And then if you're unhappy with that, um, you know, that logo in the back there, all you can do is just add, um, you know, another circle punch and it looks fabulous both ways. Another tip for bottle cap charms is how to um, put a hole in them so that you can wear them, um, you know, put them in your jewelry. So what I do is I use my crocodile. I love this thing, journals and metal art. It, you know, you need this as a tool. Um, so all you need to do really is just kind of, um, can you see what I'm doing here? Just barely, barely um, find that lip. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah just right there on the, as it starts getting on the edge and it punches right through. You've got that little lip to put um, your jump ring through and that's what it looks like. So let's have a look with this one. <clears throat> that lip is obviously not there in this one. So I guess what I would do is I would just put it through the bottom. So just make sure it misses that lid, that lip and um, let's have a look. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing there? Yep. All right. And punch through. It's amazing. It will look works really well. So um, I just don't know what would happen. Whoops, he's still wet. I don't know what would happen if you had the dimensional magic on top and then let it dry and then punch it. You'd crack the entire thing. So I would punch before you added the dimensional magic and then just make sure that you have something in there to leave that hole open. But I'll leave that up to you. I don't plan on using these for jewelry. I plan on using them to add to um, junk journals and um, as gifts to friends of mine. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, little DIY um, and um, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.